Here again with my very first Shameless Season 7 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. If you aren't caught up to the point where I am a rewatch you're watching Shameless or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention, as well as put in the description. If that happens to be the case and you find out that you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. And for those of you that are wondering, I've already watched Shameless all the way through at least one time. Some episodes I've seen multiple times. I'm just re-watching the episodes because the show is relatively good. I know towards the end the quality drops quite a bit, but right now I'm on the good stuff at least through Season 7. This might be the slow start to the downfall, but I know I didn't really like Season 8 all that much, but it's been a while since I've watched it, so we'll see. But with that in mind, this will be Shameless Season 7, Episode 1. The title of this episode is called Herith. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. We start off with Frank in the River. It's kind of like a dream sequence. Is actually, Frank is in a coma, and Fiona joins her, Debbie joins her, Carl, Liam, Ian, and Lip also join, and Frank is in a hospital bed after being thrown into the river at the end of Season 6. Frank is getting a sponge bath as he wakes up. The nurse sees that he's awake, guessing he got a hard-on just by the look on her face and the look on his face, and uh, she says that John Doe's awake, Debbie was going to leave Franny in front of a fire department, but since the siren went on and the garage door was opening, she ran back to grab Franny before she was, uh, you know, fire truck pancake, essentially. Fiona was doing a little straightening in Debbie's room. She was, like, throwing dirty diapers in the garbage and straightening her bed. And then she decides to undo everything that she did. Like, why help out Debbie? Let Debbie, you know, have a messy room. Uh, Fiona leaves with Liam. Carl's going down on Dominique. Then they decide that that's going to take too long, so they just have sex. Frank was out for 29 days in a coma, and nobody tried to find him. Nobody came to the hospital to look for him. Caleb tells Ian he's meeting an old friend from high school uh, for dinner. Denise, who's married with kids. Debbie takes a woman's stroller at the park as she was talking to the woman. The woman just kind of blow her off, so... In retaliation, I think Debbie's like, well, fuck you, bitch, and takes her stroller. Uh, Fiona's running Patsy's now as they're trying to find a, a new manager. A woman gets a call at Patsy's, and Fiona takes... I'm sorry, Fiona... A woman gets a cut at Patsy's, and Fiona takes care of it. And I did put cut, but said call but for some reason. Uh, Fiona's covering a lot of shifts. Everybody's sick. Everybody leaves early. Fiona is doing a lot. She probably gets paid for 40 hours and works 90. I hate that scenario. Carl's upset that Dominique never goes down on him as he always goes down on her. She says his thing is kind of weird as it has all this extra skin on it. It, ta it kind of freaks her out. So Carl isn't circumcised and yeah, he's got a little coat for his, uh, you know, V, Kev, and Svetlana are still in their threesome relationship. Lip leaves the Faith and Serenity house. Ewings, who's clean shaven now, is there to pick him up. Ewings wants to take Lip to a meeting. Uh, Ewings still hasn't gotten his windows fixed. Frank gets the damage on his hospital uh, stay. It's over $100,000, $100,000, and he isn't paying any of it. Ewings takes Lip to Patsy's. He wants Ewings to help him get a job. The best he can probably do is an internship, but that'll do. Fiona is happy to see Lip and gives him a hug. Fiona tells Lip she can't wait to get back to waiting tables as this job as manager sucks. And Fiona now has a warrior tattoo on her, her arm. Lip needs a job and Fiona says could you use, we could use a dishwasher she says she could use the help right now. So Lip literally starts right then and there and agrees to take the dishwasher job and starts right away. Ian talks to his co-worker about Caleb's female date. Kev at the alibi is talking about how Amy did a poopy. 
Svetlana is really good with numbers. She's doing like their books and figuring out everything where it takes V and Kev a long time. And then like everybody at the Alibi, like Kermit and Tommy give uh, Svetlana like, you know, number, you know, multiplications and like what is 433,228 times four and Svetlana's like figuring out all these. It wasn't that specific question, but no questions like that. And like everybody's pretty impressed with Svetlana's uh, number capabilities and uh, V and Kev actually look shocked to see this. Uh, or I, Wait, I've jumped ahead a little bit. So Frank shows up at the alibi, and V and Kev look shocked to see him there. Uh, they thought he was dead, and Frank tells them what happened. And Frank mentions nobody came looking for him. Frank doesn't remember what happened to him. And then after thinking about it, Frank remembers that they threw him in. And I must say, on my shameless season six episode review video, the season finale of Shameless. I don't know what it was with my copy of the Blu-ray, but I didn't see that part. And I was like, wow, I, I seem to remember Frank getting thrown in the uh, river at the end of season six. So unless I skipped ahead by accident, I didn't see that. So I was wondering, I thought maybe it happened at the end of season seven or maybe the beginning, but yeah, that wasn't in my copy or I just accidentally skipped past it. Uh, maybe the controller that got bumped or something, but any event, if you're wondering why I didn't talk about it, that's why. But I was wondering that as I watched the episode. So Lip arrives home and, uh, well, Frank remembers that they, they, they threw him in the, the river. And then Lip arrives home and Debbie greets him with a hug. Debbie asks Lip if the beer needs to be hidden. Sue, that's uh, Ian's co-worker, tells Ian 50% of gay men in a relationship cheat. So if you're not cheating, Caleb's likely to cheat. Frank arrives home. Liam is the one that opens the door. And Frank call, crawls in the house. He wants somebody to get his wheelchair. Frank gets a beer out of the fridge. A Some spaghetti falls on top of him as he's drinking the beer. Uh, Ian, Carl, and Lip wonder how Frank got back. Carl asks everybody about being circumcised. Everybody uh, is but Carl... Tommy wants to watch Svetlana breastfeed. She agrees to let him watch for a certain amount, but uh, uh, he has to pay, of course, but he gets to videotape it, so that's that's a plus. And Lip is still actually drinking, but he has like all these stipulations, like I need to be hydrated, I need to do this, I can only drink this much at this time. It's crazy. I didn't think he would drink after the, the, uh, the, uh, the home that he was in for 30 days. Uh, Carl asks Frank why he isn't circumcised. Debbie has hired a night nurse with the money that she got from the stroller. Um, Fiona and Debbie find out Frank's back. And Fiona actually drags Frank out of the house. Uh, Debbie wakes up after a good night's sleep due to her night nurse. And Ian finds out that Caleb was prom queen. Prom, I was going to say prom queen. Prom king. Fiona gets a dollar raise to stay manager at Patsy's, at least the temporary manager, and handle all of the BS. Debbie's really uh, talkative with everybody at school due to the fact that she got a really good night's rest and she didn't have to deal with Franny. And now Debbie is stealing another high-priced stroller to sell so she can get money to keep her night nurse. Frank is venting to a homeless guy. Uh, Frank says, the world's going to fuck you. All you got to do is take it up the ass. Fiona tells Lip she's done with men. Carl gets pays to get circumcised. He had a bunch of money still hidden uh, in, a, in a cup or a, whatever coffee cup or coffee uh, thing that coffee comes in. And uh, Frank breaks into the back door with a crowbar. Frank's pulling his wheelchair up the stairs with a rope tied around himself. Frank pulls all of Fiona's clothes out of her room. Nails the door shut. Kev uh, gets ready for a family meeting. He thinks it's going to be three sometime. And Svetlana like, tells him, you guys don't have any assets. Do you want any, any, any 401k? Um, that's the meeting, essentially. Lip and Ian follow Caleb without Caleb knowing. Caleb actually makes out with his old high school friend as Lip and Ian see this. And then Fiona sees all of her clothes out in the hallway and the door nailed shut. And like, what the fuck? I just got back from probably working, we'll say, 18 hours. Maybe more, maybe less. And then Carl arrives home as she's standing there. Has to stay out of action for four days. 
then Dominique will give me a BJ, and that's what ends the episode. So while the episode was good, I felt it was a little lackluster at times. Uh, 8.0 out of 10 is what I'm going to score it. My character is the episode. For the females, I'm going to give it to Debbie, even though I do not like Debbie's character at all. And for the males, I'm going to give it to Frank, although one could argue Ian, one could argue Lip, and one could even argue Carl. The males were really strong. Even Kev, like all the males, had really good roles in this particular episode. So you've heard everything that I have to say. Now it's your turn. If you're a fan of Shameless and you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, please consider Hulk smashing the like button, share the video with a friend, Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of Shameless. What would you rate the episode? Whom would be your male? Who would be your female character of the episode? Or you can just do one. Uh, or you can talk about anything else Shameless related since I have seen the entire show. With that in mind, click right here for my Shameless series finale rant video. The only Shameless video I did before this uh, recap series. Uh, assuming you've seen every episode of Shameless. And then last but certainly not least... Don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, share your damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.